All right. Um, happy New Year to everybody. Um, look, good, uh, good team win for our football team. Um, still feel like there were some things that we could have done better. Uh, still felt like there was a few things that we left out there on the field. Um, but, you know, I thought particularly in the first half, I thought we played really well in the first half in all three phases. Um, I thought the field position in the game was a big part of the game. I think the takeaways in the game were a big part of the game. Um, you know, I think we ran the ball a little bit better offensively, which, which opened up some things in the passing game. Uh, we did a good job on third down, converting on third down. So, uh, look, there's a lot of good things that we did. Obviously, the first drive of the game, taking it down there, being able to score points, put seven on the board, uh, was I, I thought was big for our football team. So, uh, proud of the way that our guys continue to compete. I'm proud of the way our guys continue to fight. Um, and I'm proud of the way that they played today. So um, now we got to digest this um, and then get ready for Atlanta. Was this a hard effort performance, all that stuff you just talked about to pull off after the, the state of the team just like nine days ago, that maybe the toughest loss? Well, I, I, I think state of the team probably is, you know, that's a, uh, Man, I'm sure every I'm sure everybody has their own opinion about the state of the team, right? You know, so, um, but I've never questioned the mindset of our team. I've never questioned the toughness of our team. I've never questioned the competes of our team. Um, and so, uh, yeah, look, this game we play is hard. It's not easy, you know. And there's some times that you got to fight back after a tough loss. Um, but you know, I told the team last night, you know, we got to handle hard well. And, uh, and I thought our guys did that today. A lot of the players said this week they felt like it was playoff mentality um, this week. How does it feel that they appear to respond to that message? Yeah, look, I think, I think look, it's positive, you know. Um, and, and I think, you know, when we face some adversity, I think our guys have generally uh, responded. So, um, you know, we knew our backs were against the wall. Um, and we knew that if we didn't take care of business today, then it didn't matter what happened you know, anywhere else. Um, we knew that we had to win this game, and I think our guys had the mindset that we were coming in here to win. And, uh, and that's, what, that's what they did. How did you feel Jonathan Abram uh, performed with? I, listen, I thought, I thought he played really well. I, I, was, I was extremely proud of him, happy for him, the way that he played, uh, great effort play, you know, on the, uh, on the, on the strip, you know, to, to cause the fumble that DeMario recovered. Um, Look, and there was a number of things he did well. Obviously, that play stands out. But, you know, here's a guy that's been, you know, kind of on the practice squad. Then he's on the roster. Um, probably hadn't gotten as many opportunities as he would like. But he's one of the ones that's, you know, he's got probably the most time on the iPad in terms of studying what the opponents are doing. Um, he works extremely hard at it. And, and he got his opportunity, and he, and he performed well. What Can went into that decision yeah. to give him that opportunity? Well, I think. Look, primarily it was because we had a rookie player that, you know, missed the early, early part of the week practice. Um, and so um, I think you got to, particularly for a young player, I think you got to, you know, practice to be able to play and, and play well. And so, um, and look, I, it doesn't really matter how, how he gets the opportunity. It's about taking advantage of the opportunity. I thought he did a good job of that. Can you talk about Jawan? Jawan Johnson, yeah. I thought he played really well today. You know, here's another guy that, you know, um, look, we've had a number of guys that have kind of gotten challenged a little bit, you know, and they've responded to the challenge. Uh, Jawan Johnson being one of them. I think the last couple of weeks, Jawan's really responded to it and, and performed well. Um, obviously, the, 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 the touchdown was a, was a big play in the game. Uh, the third down catch down the middle of the field was a huge play in the game, changed his field position. Um, you know, um, he catches the, you know, the, the boot there in the, uh, I guess it was the fourth quarter there, you know, gets us in some good field position. So, um, look, I thought he played well. I thought he played through, you know, a little bit of a, sh a shoulder injury and, and, you know, came back out and, and played and competed. So I was really proud of him. The first half of the game, you feel that's the best maybe collectively you played this year on both sides? Um, yeah, look, I mean, it's been a long season. So, you know, I, I think there's been some, some times, um, you know, where I feel like our, our, our team has played really well in a lot of spurts. Um, but, yeah, I do. I, I feel like, you know, I feel like that was, you know, all three phases, I think, 
contributed to you know us being able to get out to that lead in the first half. Derek feels like he's been Derek Carr feels like he's been hitting a stride here over the course of the past few games. Has there been anything sort of different about his approach? Well, look, no, I, I think a I think he's feeling a little bit better. <clears throat> you know, I mean, obviously he's had a couple of you know things that have kind of nagged him throughout the you know throughout the season, um, and I think he's probably. Look, nobody's 100% healthy this time of year, but I think he's closer to that now than maybe where he was, you know, a month, month and a half ago. Uh, so, so yeah, I think he's, I think he's been performing, you know, much better over the last, you know, call it month or six weeks of the season. And I think a lot of that is health related. And is this still a, a bit of what y'all were expecting to see, sort of when everything kind of settled in, maybe a little bit more chemistry? Yeah, yeah. Look, I mean, um, it's still not perfect. Um, but it's it's been improved, and and I think, look, we got we're guaranteed one more opportunity to go and prove it a little bit more, and and that's what we're going to focus on. Uh, add Alante Taylor to that. Alante was awesome today, really. You know what I mean? Like, again, I mean that's the enjoyment that I get out of coaching is when a guy hits a rough patch, you know, and you challenge him, you know, look, he got benched, you know, that's hard to, that's hard. It's hard to take. He responded the right way. You guys asked me, how's he going to respond? I thought he responded the right way. I think he did that today. So I was extremely proud of him. The Titans seemed like they were pretty heavily involved in the passing game early. Was there something that you saw going into the game, like a matchup that y'all liked? Um, well, you know, look, I mean, obviously the fact that we use the tight ends says that, you know, we felt like there was something that maybe we could, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, take advantage of. Um, and again, Look, you never know exactly how the game's going to play out. I mean, we kind of have an idea of what they might, may try to do, and yet, you know, we don't have a contract with them. I mean, they can kind of do whatever they want to do, and we have to be able to react to it. And so, uh, you know, in this game, there were some things that I think they were trying to do to, you know, obviously take away some of our receivers, you know, and so the tight ends played a little bit bigger role, specifically Juwan. How much of what Juwan was able to do the last few weeks kind of give you confidence in installing that game? Well, yeah, I mean, look, I mean, confidence, you know, you guys have heard this because I got it from one of my mentors, but confidence is born from demonstrated ability. And that's the same thing for us as coaches. When we see you do it, we have more confidence that you can do it again. When you as a player see yourself do it, you have more confidence that you can do it again. So I think all those things work together. Um, but yeah, he, he um, certainly we have, we have confidence in him and, and throwing him the football. Dennis, uh, did Alvin come up test something after halftime? Or, or? Yeah, so he, he sprained his ankle. Um, in the first half? I think it was on the sideline over there right before, yeah, in the first half, right before the, uh, the end of the half uh, when he got tackled on their sideline over there. Um, you know, kind of came in, got it looked at, came out after half to try to test it out, and, and uh, look, just didn't feel like he was going to be able to be functional uh, you know, enough to, to help us win. Do you know that it was not a high ankle sprain then since he... I don't know that. I know it's an ankle sprain. I haven't really gotten into all the details as to what it is. And then a couple of the guys that, that got ruled out with knee now, injuries, do you know they Look, um, uh, Nephi's got a pretty significant, you know, knee injury um, that, uh, look, he's going to miss significant time with. Um, Landon, I think, is the same knee that he hurt you know, earlier in training camp, so very similar situation with him. Um, I, I'd have to get all my injury report to, but I know those are a couple that, you know, are fairly significant. And would Cam Irving come back in? Uh, Cramps. Reps, uh, sorry? Cramps. Cramps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, but he step, him stepping in in place of Landon yeah. Young, would you like to just offer him? Yeah, look, I mean, you know, obviously, when you're watching the when you're watching the offense, and it's much easy, it's much more difficult to see everything that's happening inside. Um, usually, if I don't hear his name being said, then I'm I'm assuming that he's doing some pretty decent things, you know. So um, I didn't hear his name called out a lot. Nothing really stood out to me like ah, that was not good. So I'm I'm assuming that he, you know, at least stepped in and, and did a did a decent job. What was the key to slowing down the Buccaneers' offense? You know, Baker had been hot over the past three weeks. They scored 30 plus points last week against the Jaguars. As far as two INTs on him, they struggle all game long. Well, the biggest the biggest thing for this game was we had to win the line of scrimmage. We had to win the line of scrimmage on offense. We had to win the line of scrimmage on defense. Um, 
our O line and our D line had to play well uh, for us to have a chance to to win this game. And um, you know, like I said earlier, it wasn't perfect, but I thought overall, um, I thought overall we were able to, you know, make enough plays up front on both sides of the ball and 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 do enough to win the line of scrimmage to give ourselves a chance to win. Yeah, we, we look. We can't let the ball get over our head. So, um, you know, we didn't we didn't we didn't play as well as we needed to in, in in those two instances. And that's why when you look at the game, you say, well, it wasn't perfect. You know, so we got to go back. We got to make those corrections. We got to fix that um, because that's inexcusable. Let the ball, ball go over your head. And look, when you get in those situations, you know, you've been playing well for such a long time, doing it one way. Don't change how you're how you're playing. So there's that fine line of, well, am I going to just play soft and easy and let them throw the ball underneath, you know, or am I going to play the way I've been playing for the last 58 minutes, you know? Um, and so um, we'll look at it and, and our guys will learn from it. All right, guys, thanks.